I'm here with Dr. Romano to do a video on stereochemistry of alenes. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano. I'm Professor of Organic Chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of Orgoman Products and the Dat Destroyer author. I want to go over with you a really tough topic. Now, this topic is for the guys that are good in organic chemistry who are going for the 27 to 30. So if you don't really love organic chemistry, shut the tape off and move along because I think there's more important things than this video because this is sort of a tough video, but I want you to go to do it with me and see if we can pull off a 30. Now, normally a carbon that has four different groups to it is called a chiral carbon. And if there's four different groups and there's no symmetry, then we would most likely say that the molecule is optically active and therefore will have an enantiomer. I want to show you an exception to the rule. There's always exceptions. But one exception is a compound we call an alene. So come around and let me show you this thing called an alene. We got this problem in the Dat Destroyer book as a safeguard. Whether it'll land in the data, I'm not sure, but let's have a look. An alene system is when we have, say, three carbons. We'll keep the system as three carbons. This is the simplest alene where the middle carbon is sp. Now, if you notice, I've drawn something that are in the same plane, and here they're in different planes. Now, that's really hard to understand, but if you look at this model, you'll see it perfect. If you look at my fingers, these are in the same plane. This guy, which is blue, is going out, and this is going in the back. So I'm hoping you can all see this, that, that these, this end and this end are in different planes. Now, you might say, well, what does that mean they're in different planes? That means that the potential for chirality looms. Now, even though there's no carbon with four bonds, it is possible to have a chiral carbon or a molecule, I should say, it is possible to have a molecule that's optically active. Now, if we look at this, and I want you to look at what I'm about to do here. If you held this to this, I'm hoping you can all see that this is a mirror image. I can reflect this to this. Notice the blues, the purple on the right, the two yellows, and the orange. So this would be the mirror image. Now, one of the conditions for chirality is they're non-superimposable. Now, are, is, are these non-superimposable? The answer is yes. Watch what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to move this over. Notice when I move this over and I come down, the blues match up. Ah, the blues match up. Purple. But notice, look at, the, look at the side down here, the orange and the yellow. Notice they don't match up. So these are not superimposable. And therefore, it would be optically active. Now, the, a little trick you can do is if this group and this group are different. Okay? Now go to the other side. If this and this are different, then this would be optically active. If it's optically active, means this would have an enantiomer. But this and this has to be different. And then you do the other side, which is independent. This and this has to be different. Now, let's try this one. Do you think this one would be optically active? Well, you look over here. You say this and this are different. Good. But this and this are not different. So this is optically inactive. Because if you made a model of this, they would be super imposable on each other. Let's try one more. This is a little tougher, but let's see if we can do this. All right. Go to the left side and think of this as a path. I go to path one, which is this way with a methyl, and then this way doesn't have it. So this path and this path are different. And then you go to this one, this path, and this, remember I said, this is independent of each other. So this path and this path, they're different. So therefore, this would be a yes. This guy would be optically active. So as you can see, it is possible to have optical activity in a molecule that has carbons, but there's no four different groups attached. So if you looked at this and said, well, I don't see any four different groups attached to one carbon. No, but it's called an alene. 
I want you to make sure you go over this. I do have a question. I mentioned I always get kids on the study group and I get kids always asking me about this. We take this in detail in advanced organic chemistry. We don't need to really go any further other than for you to recognize what an allele looks like, an allene looks like. It's got an SP carbon. These guys are in different planes. And if you looked at it, would you be able to tell if it's optically active? All right, this was a tough tape. I hope you got something out of it. Um, go back over it and look at the, what I did with the models. All right, I hope this helps. Um, if it doesn't help, then if you go to the David Klein book, he does mention a little bit about the alenes, and that should help as well. All right, good luck to you. Bye-bye.